In today's Madden 21 tip, I'm going to be breaking down a nice little mini scheme here uh, from the Arizona Cardinals offensive of playbook that is going to help you with the man press ability, uh, how to beat press coverage basically, how to deal with bench press, and we're going to specifically be talking about it from the uh, shotgun formations. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I wanna welcome you on the YouTube channel. If you've never been to my YouTube channel before, what I do is I post on YouTube four to five times every single day, videos that are designed to help you with tips, strategies, tactics, and concepts that you can use to make more coins in Madden 21, win more games, and ultimately have more fun. Today we're talking about why trips week, how to beat bench press, and so if this is a helpful video, video to you, I just wanna encourage you to go ahead and click subscribe so that way you can get access to all of my future videos. Be sure to turn on notifications, that little bell icon right next to that subscribe button, and that is going to help you um, be notified because we also live stream every single night uh, on YouTube right here on the channel. That way you can see these tips and strategies implemented into real gameplay. All right, let's talk about this. So why trips week, the mini scheme that I'm going to be talking about is weak flood, mesh, shallow cross, and then I personally like slot fade uh, or the slip screen. So uh, what you want to do is you want to have your best route runner on the far right side of the screen. So that's going to be Marquise Brown for the Ravens. I'm also going to put DeAnthony De Thomas in here on the slot. On the left side, we're going to just go with Willie Sneed. And then tight end, you can have Mark Andrews, okay? And the first play we're going to be talking about is shallow cross. So uh, all I'm going to do is press coverage. And what you're going to see is the reason this is significant and helpful is these auto motion routes they do really, really well against man press because they don't get pressed. What you'll see people do a lot of times with this with this defense is they will take both of their safeties on the outside and they'll just put them into purple zone so that they can stop deep crossing routes. What you're going to see is when you run shallow cross, it's a route over the top, and you'll see oftentimes, whoops, I'm sorry, I'm in a quarter formation, so I can't put these guys in safeties. If they put the safeties in flats or purple zones, then you're going to be able to – uh, pretty easily beat it over time. So just to mimic this, I'm going to just put them in spies. Um, basically, the idea is taking the safety away of over-the-top coverages. And you'll see here, we got a fast receiver like Marquise Brown. You're going to be able to absolutely torch the coverage over the top. Now, what this is going to allow is you can put uh, DeAnthony Thomas here. I like to put him on a smart route of the hitch route. Smart route of hitch routes typically don't, because of this little man switch, you're going to be able to have him unbumpable, and you're going to be able to low ball possession catch those hitch routes all you got to do is just put him on a hitch route by hitting triangle r1 put him on a hitch by hitting r2 and then smart route the route by hitting r1 and at the snap of the ball what you're going to see here is you're going to see these routes work fairly well against press man because they don't get press and if they do get pressed um, oftentimes he's going to you know understand that and understand that he's going to basically settle up the route a little bit quicker the threat to Dobbins out of the backfield is okay against man-to-man. -man. Um, good if you basically if you have a really good route running running back like a Reggie Bush and Mutt or um, a Christian McCaffrey and Regs, this route will get wide open um, because we don't have any route chemistries on this running back and he doesn't have the greatest route running. It's not getting as open as we'd like it to get. But those are a couple reads. The next read is this route to. Uh, Andrews and what you'll see here he's not going to get pressed either and so you'll be able to easily hit that quick drag route now on the left side this is the only receiver that's going to get pressed um, but this receiver typically will win against man-to-man -man coverage you'll see here he's going to get an inside release maybe get rerouted a little bit that might be the best pressure from a quarter defense I've ever seen um, good old practice mode leave it to practice mode man uh, but basically cover two man and what you'll see here is when Willie Sneed cuts to the inside here um, he is going to be getting pretty decent separation against man to man as you see right there um, and right now the Patriots receivers are just blanket in me in quarters but these routes will help and if you have the route abilities route and chemistries um, like wide receiver uh, slot -o -matic or wide receiver route technician those will help as well all right, let's talk about weak flood. Weak flood is pretty good play in of its own. You got this nice post route to Willie Sneed. Uh, one of the things that I like to do is, is smart route the route. It's, it's going to basically treat it like a slant route. But Brown is going to go on this nice, deep wide receiver cross. Wide receiver crossing routes this year are really, really effective. So what they're going to have to start doing 
uh, in the midst of this is you're going to be running uh, weak flood and weak flood is going to be basically telling the defense you're going to have to put purple zones on that left side if you don't put purple zones on the left side i'm going to hit you with this crossing route and we're going to get really really good um really really good uh positioning but oh just kidding if you put crossing routes so now what the defense is going to do is they may do something to put some kind of flat route over there right well jk now i'm running shallow cross and once you start to see them putting the purple routes on then you're just going to bomb this right over the top of the defense. You see here it's going to absolutely torch man-to-man -man if there's no safety over the top. If there's a safety over top, you can't throw that route. It will get picked. But if there's no safety over top, you can throw it very, very consistently. So that's how those couple of plays really fit well together, uh, in my opinion, to help really torch man-to-man. -man. You see here um, you can kind of swerve catch this, but I find people will click on and make this very, very difficult for you. But anyway, that's Shallow Cross and Weak Flood. Now, Weak Flood has more routes that are open as well. Willie Sneed's route, I like to smart route it. You don't have to, but you'll see he is going to uh, – he will typically get the separation on the inside. If you have a better receiver with better release, that will be more effective. But that route is basically um, Pat's sail. It's, you know, curl wheel. It's that same post pattern that, you know, I, I run all the time and that pretty much everybody runs all the time. Um, to be honest, one other little trick here with the tight end. I do want to talk about this for just a second here, but if you put him on a delay fade, you see that um, you see that the man coverage will sit and will wait for him to go on a delay fade. So that's just something you need to be aware of. Uh, but that is on another option as well. You can put him on a delay fade, but it's not going to do much for you in terms of beating the press man to man meta that you're probably going to see. But the route that will get wide open is this route to DeAnthony Thomas. So what you'll see here, this is against Gilmore, but when he cuts to the inside, and Gilmore does have one step ahead. I threw it a little bit early. When he cuts to the inside, if you can basically, um, let's see here, weak flood. We're going cover two man. And basically what's going to happen, oh, dang, I got clicked off here. So snap of the ball. And what you'll see is once Thomas kind of wraps around, he's going to loop kind of right in the inside pocket. There you're going to see you're going to be able to hit that route against man-to-man. -man. One thing you can do to make this play really, really good against zone coverage, if you're anticipating maybe they may be changing it up on you, you want to have it a zone beater, just take Sneed and put him on a deep streak. That's literally all you got to do. And now you're going to have a really nice flood uh, of crossing routes and middle breaking patterns from right to left out of this, out of this uh, formation. The next play is mesh. So uh, basically everything looks a little bit different. So the routes, these two, the post route and the corner route will beat man to man. The other two routes are kind of hit or miss, but I love this auto motion drag against man to man coverage. I actually find that this does really good at a, as a snap throw, like a quick hit. I'm going to throw this ball uh, against man to man. Now again, it's not always going to beat man to man. That's why I, I recommend having that guy be your best route runner. But what you'll see is as a general rule, he's going to get over here to the sideline. Now the crossing routes this year, the drag routes to me, um, they're okay. They're not, you know, they're not the best, but again, right in there, right in that pocket, you see you get the catch tackle, but a quick five, a quick six will be fine. And again, if you have good receivers in mutt, this is going to help them. The route that I want to focus on is the route to the tight end. You'll see when he cuts to the inside, he's going to consistently beat man to man right over the middle very, very easily. Even if they drop zones there, he's going to be able to be very, very consistent against man. What is also really nice about this is this route to DeAnthony Thomas. What I like to do, because there's a man switch that's going to incur on this, basically what I'm going to do with him, so we're going to mesh. You see here, I just low ball. I love low ball on this route, right there. And you see how he's going to kind of come back to the ball? I find this to work really, really well uh, from, mess, or from, from mesh. I'm sorry. Because um, even if they have purple zones, they're not going to be able to do it if you low ball. If you low ball right here, basket catch it, you're going to be very, very consistently uh, torching the man-to-man -man, uh, meta. Now, what about the route to the running back? The route to the running back is not as good as it's been in years past. As you see, the wheel route does not beat man-to-man. -man. It used to beat man-to-man. -man. This year, not quite so much. It's more, honestly, of a zone read than it is a man read at this point in the year. Um but what I will say is you can throw this out there quick. 
So if I snap the ball, throw it. If the slot corner on the left side is not covering the running back, which you will see this all the time, maybe they're maybe they're doing something like this, and they do some kind of baseline coverage. You see, even when they baseline, it's going to switch. Um, but like right in here, you can click on to the running back and kind of swerve them inside. But I just personally wouldn't recommend throwing this route against man. What I would recommend though is you know after doing this consistently over and over again, this being your third play of an auto motion from this formation. What you'll begin to find is this mesh route right here, or this wheel route to J.K. Dobbins is absolutely killer against zone coverage. But anyways, guys, that is a quick little rundown on how I would beat press man. One of the other things you can do is you can actually run, if you take your right of screen, um, like if you go to slot fade here, all I'm going to do is slant brown, streak the tight end, okay? And what you'll see here is if they're impressed, if that guy's fast enough, he's actually going to get an over shoulder catching animation for the most part against it. Now, again, this is if you're if you're running this to the wide side of the field, I'll mix this in from time to time. Um, I find now I just find that this does a pretty good uh, against this against this defense, specifically if you have a really fast receiver in that position. Maybe you're playing mutt. Uh, and you've got like a, a Reggie Wayne or something, but good route running, good speed, get the ball out there. And sometimes you can get this over top that with the Patriots and regs, they're just so good. But if like Marquise Brown was there and he was going up against that guy, you would find that that route would be very, very good for you. Um, it's a route that requires, you know, again, because the thinking here is they're going to be pressing their coverage. Well, because they're pressing, he can't. It's an unbumpable route. So if I just lob this over the top, you see here, I can kind of fit it in. If I have a little bit more speed on that receiver, that's going to be an absolute dot against the cover two. So there's a lot of really, really good routes in this Y trips formation from the Arizona Cardinals playbook. It's one of the playbook or one of the formations that I've had to learn a little bit more this year um, than I ever had before. But check out the trips from Arizona. It's very effective. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what you're doing from this formation as well. Also, if you haven't joined our discord yet be sure to do that there's a link to do that in the description of this video it's so a discord is for those of you who never had it before um i am just learning how to use it myself but it's basically an app where we can bring everybody together in one community and have real-time conversation about madden you can have questions you can set up lab games you can talk about just the nfl you can talk about what the meta is going on in madden so we've got really really good players over there sharing ideas chatting back and forth I'd really encourage you to get involved in our Discord. Thank you so much for your time today. If you have any Madden questions, you can always text me. My number's in the top left of the screen. And this Arizona offense is really good. It's why I wrote a guide on it. If you want to pick up the guide, the guide is in the description of this video. It's my Madden 21 competitive bundle. And right now it's on sale for $25. It's going to get you both my offense and my defense. One of the best price points out there for you. Thank you so much for your time, and we will see you. We've got a couple more videos coming today for Madden Tips.